Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today let's have some fun with foiling. I have here the new Glimmer Hot Foil Kit for the month. If you are one of the monthly subscribers then you get every month one roll of a hot foil along with a kit that includes dies as well as plates for your Glimmer machine. So let's open this up and this month the kit is really versatile, it gives you lots of sentiments that you can use throughout the year along with two rectangle dies that cut out the sentiments or they can also uh, hot foil a little rectangle depending on the sandwich that you are using. Now the sentiments are uh, 8 in total and you get from happy birthday all the way to season's greetings and merry christmas so they are really versatile and it is a set that you will be using on your cards again and again. Now the foil roll that you get this month is absolutely stunning, it is really hard probably to show it on camera, it is called speckled prism and it gives you all those different colors, it kind of catches the light and reflects all the colors around it, I think it gives a rainbow look. So anyway, I am going to make a card today playing with my hot foil machine and uh, I have turned it on so you can see here it is already on green. Now I want to use the sentiment that says thanks for everything for my card but since I have the machine on and I am going to do some sentiments it is a good idea to add more so that I have some on hand for another card. Now that I have everything down I'm going to press the timer and wait for this one to stop flashing. I'm also going to cut out a piece from my hot foil roll, I'm going to lay it on top, don't forget you need to have the pretty side touching your plates. Now I have my die cutting machine ready to go where you can see that the light isn't flashing so I can place on top my cardstock, then place the other uh, plate on top and run it through my die cutting machine. Of course remember that if you want to use these dies without moving on you and uh, you want a specific placement then you can create a hinge as I will do later on. So I'm going to peel it off and of course do not throw away that uh, foiling, there are plenty of areas that I haven't used so I am keeping it and I will be using it again and again. I'm going to remove the dies from there and uh, now I'm going to place a frame, a plate that uh, creates a lovely frame and um, I have uh, this die I believe from uh, the, the actual machine, I think it, it came with the machine because I can't remember when I got it. Now I am going to work directly on the, cart, uh, on the cart front, that's why I need to have a perfect placement as well as uh, avoid any overfoiling as much as I can. So I'm going to uh, cut out exactly how much of foiling I need and you don't have to throw away any pieces that can be used for foiling a sentiment perhaps. And since I need a perfect placement, I'm going to use some washi tape, I'm using purple tape here and I'm going to create a hinge. So I'm placing the, the plate exactly where I need this to be, I'm going to lift it and then place underneath the piece of foiling making sure that the pretty side touches the plate. Now this is not going to move on me, I can place it on top of my machine. Now I'm making my sandwich and this time I'm using the plastic shim as well just to make sure that this is going to press nicely on top of my cardstock and it's going to give a deposed effect as well as uh, the foiling effect. So I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and I like to do that a couple of times to get a good impression. I'm going to peel off the foil and I get a perfect impression, no over foiling at all and it looks just stunning. I love how sparkly it is, this foil is absolutely gorgeous. So if you have the Glimmer machine, of course you do have this frame, obviously it came with the machine. And if you have this set of sentiments then you can make so many different variations of this uh, design that I'm making today. All you have to do is to cut out a sentiment that I have foiled previously and for this card I'm going with thanks for everything and I have foam tape at the back. And now to finish off the cards, just add a focal point at the top, it can be a stamp, it can be a die cut, anything really works here. 
I will go with flowers just because they are really versatile but before I show you how I put my card together I need to let you know don't throw away this foiling I'm really frugal with the foil and um, although you can use this as it is I am going to keep the inside since I can use it for even more uh, sentiments there is plenty of space there that can be used on other projects now I'm going to create some flowers, for that I'm using dies by Spellbinders, this is a very old kit, that's the small die cut kit from last year. This is a great uh, flower die set to have on hand, it creates those beautiful flowers, I just cut them out from uh, colored cardstock and I put them together. It is a layering die set that you can place one uh, layer on top of the other. And the fun part is that just because it is one year old, it is currently on sale and you can get all these dies for just $5. I think the normal price was $22. And just like the sentiments, which are very versatile, this is a very versatile die set as well. I like when you can use them again and again and they never really get old. I am going to finish off my card by adding some uh, gems at the center of the flowers. And all I have to do now is to stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. Just like always, you will find links down below to everything I used for creating this card. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave me a comment, they really get me going. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired. And until next time, stay safe!